Hi again. Uh, let's continue our talk of making the calculator. So here I am in Xcode 6, and I've got my calculator all laid out in a nice grid here using auto layout, and it's pretty close. You know, there's a couple issues here with the spacing and the positioning of the buttons. Let, let's have, let's resolve those in this I issue right here, or this video, okay? So let me rearrange this so I can see the sidebar here, and I can see my my storyboard, right? And what I want to do is I want to go into the sidebar here and edit the constraints. And the constraints, um, they appear in a couple places. Like in the storyboard view, they, they show up as these little blue lines, okay? So you can see when I click on this guy, he's got two constraints, and this guy's got two constraints. So you can't really see it, but there's some edge constraints there too, like this one along the edge, right? Um, so they appear as lines here, and you can see on this guy there's some constraints on the edges there and the height and stuff. Um, when you're in the sidebar here, if you're on the metrics um, portion of the sidebar, um, the constraints show up here as sort of these little buttons or boxes, right? And it says what they are, like this is trailing space to super view, leading space to super view, right? And if I click on my first button here, you can see you know, leading space to super view. And as I, as I hover over the, um, the constraint here on the right, you can see that the constraint becomes highlighted in the view here. Okay, it's got this little blue kind of, you know, box around it, right? So, so this constraint is the, you know, the space to leading space, which is on the left side, bottom space, top space, trailing space to the next object, right? And then, um, you know, equal, you know, width with the other button, right? Okay, so those are my constraints. Um, and this one looks pretty good. This is, I like this one. It's got, my, my key thing here is the spacing, I think, is my problem. I, I want to set these, I think these look like two pixels, and that one looks like one pixel, right? So, um, so you can see this one says, you know, trailing space to button, and that's the space between the two buttons, because you can see the, the, um, the constraint gets highlighted right there, right? So um, so that's fine. It says equals one, right? So let's go to the next button here, and you can see this guy's got, you know, bottom space to super view, top space to super view, trailing space equals two, right? And that's not quite right. So let's click the edit um, link here, and let's change the constant to one, okay? Ah, now we get the equal, you know, spacing that's equal with this other one. Now let's go to the next button, right? And this one looks like trailing space is also equal to two. So let's click edit, change it to one, and then hopefully everybody's nice and lined up there. Let's go to the next row and take a look. Equals one, 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 right? So that one's pretty good. And these look like they're lining up really nicely. Let's go to the next row, um, one. Oh, this guy's two on his trailing space. So let's edit that and we'll make that one one. And you know, if you wanted to make these larger or some other value, you could you could put those values in there, and that would be fine. Okay, and then our bottom row. This guy actually looks pretty good. Um, this one, it looks like I spaced this one correctly, right? Yeah, everything looks pretty good there. And now for the bottom row. Okay, so the bottom row. First, let's fi fi fix the spacing, and then we want this button to be you know twice the size of the other two. Okay, so you can see here it says you know trailing space to button is three, so that's way off. So let's change it to one. And then we'll go to this next one. You can see trailing space to button is two. So let's click edit and make that one, and then we're pretty good. Okay, so now, and, and you know, we, we could probably do that too with the, uh, with the rows that we set up, right? Because this one is not quite right. We'll fix that next. Um, let's find our row. So here's our top row, and, uh, you know, leading space to label is two, that's fine, because that's the top space, right? And then the bottom space is one, and that's pretty good. Let's go to the next view here. Uh, top space is one, bottom space is one, good. Uh, bottom space is one, top space is one, fine. This guy's got, oh, bottom space is two. Well, that's, that's our problem there. That's why this space is larger. Why don't we uh, click on this and change it to one? Okay, and there we go. That looks pretty, pretty nice, right? Um, okay, so now how do we deal with this button that is, ends up being, you know, 
you know, twice as large as the other two. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So for this button right here, what I want to do is I want to find the width, right? And what I want to do is I want to use a multiplier here. So I want this one actually to be, you know, twice as wide as the other two. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, to type in two there. And now this button is going to multiply his width times two compared to his equal width value with the other two buttons, right? So this one ends up being twice as wide as these two. And everybody lines up pretty nicely, even though this kind of looks like it's off by one pixel, but let's not worry about that. It's pretty close, okay? Um, but anyway, there you go. Um, that's how to use auto layout and how to adjust your auto layout with the menu here. And we can use the multiplier to create relationships that are, um, you know, greater than, than perfectly equal, right? So, you know, equal widths is one thing, but this is like, you know, twice the width, right? Or you could do 1.5. If you, um, here's a little note. If you want to set this to a value, like if I wanted this to be 1.5, um, we can type in 1.5. Actually, that wouldn't work that time. I was expecting it not to work. But uh, sometimes when you go to this menu, um, it'll only let you type in an integer. And if that happens, um, choose convert to decimal, and then you can you can turn it into what any value you like, okay? Let's change that back to two. There we go. That's, that's looking pretty good. Let's check it in the preview too for fun. Hey, that's looking pretty sharp. Again, this one's off by one pixel. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so that, that's looking pretty good. Um, and there you go.